Okay, everybody, today we are finally making our snow and ice tutorial here in UEFN for Fortnite. I've just put together something really quick here, a couple models, a bunch of ice and snow and stuff like that. We can take a look down here and see how the texture of the ground is a little bit different. And if we run down to the hot springs that I put down here, we can kind of see how it goes into the water a little bit and how we have a little bit of snow that's sort of going on top of the rocks a bit. It's pretty cool. It's uh, it's a really neat effect. I think this is very, very useful. We're also going to make it snow a little bit. So if you don't know how to do that, I'll teach you how to do that as well. Let's make something really cool. On a side note, it is December, so it is a little bit more of a fetch season. So I've got on my gamer elf shirt. But if you look at it, the green here is actually keying out because it's fully green. So you can see right through my body. That's kind of neat. Anyways, let's get into this. Okay, we're inside a UEFN. This is my original project. As you can see, I've just got some models here. We've got some water down here. We've got our fire VFX, and then up here is our snow VFX. But let's create this from complete scratch, because I think that's actually the easiest way to learn this. So let's start a new project. So we want to go into File, New and Open Project. And then inside of here, we're going to choose Island Templates. Just choose the blank one. And we're going to call this Snow Tutorial. Okay, so this is our base tutorial. We're going to quickly go into landscape mode. Once in landscape mode, we're just going to create. Doesn't matter what you do here, we can change all this later, but we need some landscape first. So once we have some landscape, we can see that we've just got grass. Now, if you go into paint mode, none of these are grass. This is dirt, this is sand, this is gravel, and so on and so forth. But we want snow. So to do that, we need to go into Fortnite and then down into materials and then down into landscape and then into material instances. And we're going to take this first one and we're going to make a material instance of it. So right click, create material instance. Now you can call it whatever you want, put it wherever you want. I'm going to call mine uh, custom snow materials. Save. So once you've done that, we can go back up into our root folder and we're going to double click on this. Now, if you've never made your own custom textures before, this might be brand new to you. But this is how you're going to make custom textures for your game. OK, so once we have this open, we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers in here. I'm just going to use the first layer because it doesn't really matter what you use for this. If you want to make a snowy world, then uh, use any layer that you want. I'm going to use layer one. Now, inside a layer one, these are all unchecked because it's going to just be set to default. We need to change out this base color layer and we need to change out the normal map. You can also change out the roughness map if you want to. Roughness is how shiny something is, uh, but I'm going to leave this alone just for now. We can we can change this later. Uh, we're going to change the normal map and we're going to change the base color. So the base color we're actually going to change to just white. Default base color white. Just change it to white. It's no it's no problem. If you want to put a bit of a tint to your snow, like a, a light blue or a slightly light, lighter blue, kind of maybe something like that, I'd say go for it because snow can tend to have a little bit of that light blue to it. So once we've done that, now we need a normal map. A normal map is what causes displacement in a texture without requiring polys, which is really good. Now, the base texture that is already in here is called mud. Interestingly enough, this may work. We're going to save this and uh, we'll just close it for now, actually. And now in our landscape layer, we can go over here to landscape in our outliner and then head down. And then what we'll do is we'll just select this and then hit this little arrow here. And that will cause uh, everything to change because we're using a different set of textures to do our landscape with. So we're going to select our snow layer. Remember, it's layer one and we can just start painting on. Now let's take a look at this close up and you can see it's got this bit of texture to it that obviously looks like rocks. That comes from the displacement layer. We can use that. It's kind of OK, but I'd recommend doing something different. So we can do two things. One, we can stretch out the texture, say put this at 2000 and hit enter and then we'll take a look. Nah, that doesn't really look look good. So let's put it to 20,000. And then we've got sort of we've got these sort of bigger lumps that kind of are all over the place. It's kind of interesting, but the better thing to do is to grab your own displacement map, which you can get all over the place, by the way, and it could be pretty much anything. So I'm going to grab a different one and I'm just going to drag it into the root for now. This one's just come from Polyhaven. I think I found something on Polyhaven that I kind of like. Select this, 
click this little arrow in our texture and it'll change out immediately. And we can see we still got it really stretched out here. So let's bring it down to 2000 maybe and see what it looks like. And then it starts to have this little bit more detail to it. So it really doesn't matter what you use. But if this looks like too much, like too much depth to it, you see there, it looks kind of weird. We can actually come down here into this checkbox where it says the intensity of it. And we can just put it at say 0.5 and that will make the displacement map be a lot more subtle. And you can see it looks like snow now, right? So we can still sculpt on top of here. So let's grab our brush, bring that down, bring the size down. And we can still sculpt on here and we can get these mountains that look like, well, they look like snowy mountains, right? So we just put it like this, a little more over here, and then you just go ahead and paint on top of that. And then they look like snowy mountains. We can close this up for now. That's how you do a paint. And you're probably wondering, well, what, what happened here? If we go to each of the layers that we selected, hold shift, we can delete all the stuff that we put in here uh, just by clicking like so. We'll get rid of the sand as well. Like that. Okay. So that's looking a little bit more normal. But if we do use this big rocky texture kind of like this, uh, say the bottom of this mountain is pretty rocky. The cool thing about this snow texture or any texture for that matter, if we bring the tool strength way, way down, we can actually just put a little bit of snow in around the edges a bit here can shift, hold shift, and we can get rid of some of the texture that is here. Like that. And it looks like the snow is kind of coming through the rocks, which is pretty cool, to be honest. There, that looks pretty neat. So that's how you can get basic snow, but it doesn't stop there. We can actually do so much cooler. Cause you remember in my last one, we actually had snow ice mountains look like glaciers kind of thing. So that's what we're going to get next. So go ahead and save this. And then we're going to go file new open project, go into Island templates, head down to the Arctic Island. Now I've already done this. So I'm just going to open up my Arctic Island one. Just call it whatever you want. This one, you're just going to open this up and we're going to get something from it, but I'm going to open up the one that I've already made. Okay, so this is the Arctic Island and I haven't changed a thing about it. The only thing we need from this is this texture information inside of here. So when we go to landscape, we can see down here it says landscape material. We want this ice biome. So we're going to open this up, hit copy, and then go back to your other project. And so we don't want to change this landscape. This landscape needs to stay the same. So we need to go make another landscape, which is no problem. So we go manage new and then you can right click here and go paste and then create and it will create another landscape. Now it's looking kind of weird right now because it's at the exact same layer as the other layer. So if we just go to selection, hit our landscape to find our gizmo and just slightly bring it up, it stops doing that. And then now we have our ice biome so that when you go ahead and so that when you go ahead and sculpt with a brush like this, you get your glaciers like that. Ta -da. And that's how you get both types of snow and ice into one map. And then you'll just go ahead and you'll just blend them together with sculpting and materials and all the little tricks that I showed you before. And then the last thing that we'll cover really quickly is how to make it snow. This is actually really simple, but surprisingly, people have asked me, how'd you make it snow? So we want to go into the VFX spawner inside of here, inside of the devices of Fortnite, grab the VFX spawner, place it somewhere. And by default, it's the fireworks. So don't worry about that. We're going to go into the details panel. We'll choose from visual effect. We will just find snow and that's it. That's how you can make it snow in a location. Now the snow effect doesn't go very far. It's only a particle effect that covers a particular area. So if you need more, just duplicate these, hold the alt key and then just move another one around like that so that you have now I have three and it's probably a blizzard down here now. So it's pretty crazy. And that's how you can make it snow inside of your game, along with having a snow texture and a glacier texture. So there you go. Hopefully that has been interesting and I will see you guys in the next one.